Speaking of the draft, the Minnesota Vikings current, currently, currently hold the 11th and the 23rd overall picks in the first round of the NFL draft. Now, many indications that they say that they're going to draft a quarterback. They want to move up to fourth, third, second to get themselves a quarterback. So, guys, is it an overreaction or underreaction that the Minnesota Vikings move up into the top five to get themselves a quarterback? As I've said it many, many times on this show, we can see six quarterbacks go in the first round. Sitting at 23rd overall is the Minnesota Vikings. There's going to be a good quarterback that drops to them at 23. Guys, this is stupid if the if the Minnesota Vikings move up into the top five. Going from 11 to 5 is going to take a swap of picks and like a second or third round pick. It, 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 is, it, it is going to take more than I think the Minnesota Vikings are willing to give to move into the top five. You have two first round draft, draft, draft picks with six quarterbacks potentially going in the first round. Sit at 20, 23 minutes, Minnesota Vikings, and draft yourself like a quarterback. You need more help than just a quarterback in Minnesota. In Minnesota, guys, this offseason, they lost their dynamic edge runner by the name of Daniel Hunter. Daniel Hunter is now with the Houston Texans. With that 11th overall pick, they need to draft the best player on the board at that particular time. And that's probably going to be edge rusher Jared Verse from Florida State. Fill that edge rusher role at number 11. And then at number three, get your quarterback. Get Penix, get Bo Nix, get Spencer Rattler. J.J. McCarthy might fall down that, like that, that, that low. Get yourself a quarterback then. Do not move up into the top five. Do not, do not waste your franchise's future on a what if, right? Sit there at 11, sit there at 23, and just let the play, let's let the chips fall. Just let them fall. The only way if I'm in the Minnesota Vikings, if 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 I'm moving up to number one, two, three, or th- three or four, is if I am a hundred percent sold that Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels is the next coming of Jesus Christ. That is the only way I'm moving up there. Period. At 23. I can get a mediocre quarterback and be just fine. I got Justin Jefferson. Right? I I I I got a uh, who is that rookie that they got last se- 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 season? Uh names are slipping my mind right now, guys. I I am in tor- in tornado mode right now. Uh tornadoes get me going. Uh <laughs> if you know, you know. But they got JJ, they got Jordan Addison and Brandon Powell as well. And, oh, by the way, they still got T.J. Hawkinson. An average quarterback will be just fine. Bo Nix, Penix Jr., J.J. McCarthy, whatever. Do not move up in the draft. This is an overreaction. Don't move up. Sit there at 11. Draft an edge runner. Jared Verse from Florida State would be a great pickup right there. Sit there at 23. Let the quarterback fall to you. Let the quarterback fall to you. Frank says, let's go Colts. And says, not a Colts fan, but I'm excited to see uh, AR, Jelly, uh, uh, Jelani Woods, and Josh Downs this year. Got to be a nice fill core with it. Yeah, the, the the Colts have quietly been putting together a really nice, good core. Uh, Anthony Richardson, I hope to have a really good good uh, uh, season here. Uh, Penix has made a cardboard. He has made a cardboard. That's why the Bears are moving into a dome so that cardboard stays nice and firm. James says they said the same. Th- they said the same thing with Fields and didn't know how to properly utilize him. If there hasn't been more facts spoken right there in that comment, James nailed it for the day. The Chicago Bears just don't know how to raise a quarterback. It is. Jameson says Keenan Allen should have went to Houston. Should he have though? I mean. The Houston Texans seem pretty good on the offensive side. I was really surprised that they added Joe Mixon, to be honest. But Tank Dell is going to be back. They still have uh, Robert Woods. Uh, Nico Collins, right, is their number one guy. Uh, who else they got? Uh, John Michi, the guy that battled cancer. They signed Dalton Schultz to a uh, a long-term deal, right? 
I, I, I'm not for sure if, if uh, to be honest, Keenan Allen would have been a number three receiver on that team. To be honest, Robert Woods would have probably the one would have been the odd man out. But Keenan Allen would have been a number three. I, I, I don't think you go from the guy to a number three. I don't know. Uh, he got traded, unfortunately. Who, 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 who got traded? John, John says, my very, very reliable source is saying that the Ravens are all in on drafting a quarterback in the first round. They want big results this year from their biggest investment quarterback position and planning on to the future so that that's not pay off in this year. Tick tock, tick tock. So John is saying that Lamar Jackson's days are numbered in Baltimore. John says that just because uh, Lamar Jackson signed that big deal is a five-year deal, right? 